I've definitely learned to become more patient, especially with achieving smaller goals and making sure that we kind of have little steps leading towards a bigger goal and accepting those like little steps mm -hmm. and ensuring too that if we don't achieve a goal one day that that doesn't bring us down that we it just reminds us to keep going and especially to provide that confidence and motivation in our kids i think it is really helpful for their learning processes as well i would agree with patience uh -huh. um, <laughs> Um, like even with setbacks, um, like being patient with those, there's always a reason mm -hmm. for a setback and um, being able to be patient with that if it's in our control or not. And taking it day by day because not every day is going to look the same here. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> I think that there are definitely some things that children on the spectrum may have a little bit more intuition with and it may surprise you more than you think and it's definitely something that not a lot of people realize I guess. Yeah I think they're just they're able to read your body language and your facial expressions and even through COVID with a mask um, you can kind of tell like they're reading um, when they've done something successfully and you're excited you can still see like um, like your cheeks raise and mm -hmm. they can see that and they're getting excited too and they're catching on to those yeah. um, body cues mm -hmm. I hope they feel um, trusting in us comfortable and at ease and just have that sense of their children are getting the necessary care and strategies to help them learn and grow in life and their kids are in the right care. Mm -hmm.